Hello, I'm Debbie Bell Hosking and welcome to Finextra. Within the financial sector, the payments market is one that stands out as undergoing significant changes and growth. And Fiserv is a leading provider of financial technology solutions globally and has a history of innovation and payments both in the back office and in terms of the customer experience. So to explain to us about how things are moving in the market and the challenges facing financial institutions, for example banks and credit unions, and also how Fiserv can help, is the president of the new Enterprise Payment Solutions Division within Fiserv, Martin Cohen. Hello, Martin. Hello, Debbie. Martin, let's start off with what is happening in the markets. What do you see as the key changes and challenges that financial institutions ought to address? So if we take the changes in the payments market first, we really see three, three main trends. Um, so the, um, the movement of electronic money globally really is picking up a pace, the number of transactions, and the the importance of it as how it connects with global trade and commerce is, is rising very fast. Um, really the second big trend we see is around digital transformation and we see this on two fronts. So from a, a perspective of a financial institution, they're seeing digital transformation as a focus on improving the customer experience, how they provide real-time services, how they make um, things more convenient for their customers, how they provide information in a better way, and how they start to use APIs more to be able to connect both the services they have inside the bank as well as services in a wider ecosystem externally to the bank. Um, maybe inevitably then the third trend we would see given the change in the market and the opportunities is really the rise of competition. Mm -hmm. So both from external players coming into that space and beginning to compete with the existing banks, but also from the, the financial institutions that are moving first and really taking a lead and being more progressive in that space. I think if we look in the context of those three changes and then see the challenges that imposes on banks, it's sort of important to understand where payment sits with banks. So payments has always been the other side of a transaction. It's been the other thing that was done by the bank. And there's traditionally been a bit of a view that payments was therefore the necessary thing, the plumbing on the back end of how banks operate. Um, and I think that is a sort of a risky view as the market moves forward and changes, because as payments have become real time and information rich, they really are becoming the foundation on which a whole set of new and intelligent financial services can be built and driven and presented out to market. And so really from our perspective, we see it as very important that banks start to see that change in the way that payment sits in their world and how they can use it um, and really focus on how that change comes, because if they don't move and change um, with the pace that the market is moving, they will become irrelevant. So Martin then, for financial institutions to stop becoming irrelevant, what should they be doing? So, so I think this is really interesting. So despite the, the new threats in the market and the new entrants, financial institutions really are still at the heart of, of moving money and, 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 how, and how the whole of payments works. And they have a very trusted relationship with their customers. Um, so we see the banks that are going forwards and a number of the banks that we work with who are being very progressive in this space um, really are taking a different view of payments. So instead of traditionally seeing it as a thing they had to do and a necessary part of the back office, payments is now becoming an area where they see a need to invest and to innovate and to really start to use um, the changes that are happening in the market, the way that the uh, payments are going real time and more information rich to provide increasingly intelligent services on top of those payments that really enable them to differentiate. And I think the mindset change there as well is very much seeing payments as a holistic thing. So not that individual silos are managing payments in different ways, but that a bank looks at payments from a platform basis and is using a platform and a technology to pull their payments together to simplify the way they operate, to provide multiple channels that go to market in different ways, to allow for those real-time services and that information to be provided in ways that segment out to their clients in effective ways, and really draw all that together in a bank that can provide differentiated services within payments but because payments is on, the other, on one side of everything they do, it then allows the bank to differentiate across all of their other product lines too. Um, I think the other observation we would make is that that change really is necessary. So it isn't an option for a bank to, to sort of stay still and not change. Um, and therefore it really is about the banks working out how they make those changes, how they change their mindset and how they find that strategy. So Martin, what help is there out there for financial institutions to address these payment challenges and also to avoid them becoming the ones that are left behind? Well, I think the good news is that there is help out there. Um, and I think it really is key for those financial institutions to be finding partners that they trust and, and that they understand are experts mm -hmm. in payments. And at Fiserv, we work at, with many financial institutions really in just that role. Um, and I think the key thing from our perspective is that we can deliver the complexity in the back office um, in how payments are actually managed and processed. And we can provide end-to-end -end solutions that allow the banks to be able to take the value of 
those payments and present them to their clients in effective ways. And we have the experience and the background where we can give clients a view or our customers and financial institutions a view of how they move forward and the ways that they could fit their strategy into how they want to run their business and move forward. Whether that's by modernizing piece by piece or it's by taking a more platform view up front and, and focusing on stability and resilience and building forward into the front office from that point. So really, whichever way the bank wants to go, we can help them go forward in that space. And I think what's key in payments is because it is such a mission critical, important part of the business, that going wrong on the back office of a payments um, part of a bank is really quite critical. So both to the brand and to the, the economics of the bank, the damage can be very high. And therefore having a trusted partner that has done this before at scale, that understands how to deploy those capabilities and has a proven track record of succeeding really is key for the banks to do that. I think the interesting part of all this, and we've maybe touched it already, which is that the pace of change really is very great in this. And change is always uncomfortable. Um, but in the payment space now, change is really is inevitable. And it really is up for banks to embrace that change and move forwards. Because if they do, there really is an opportunity, an unprecedented level of opportunity in the payment space compared to previous years. Martin, thank you for joining us and giving us your insight. Thank you, Debbie. And thank you for watching.